Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. So it is Friday. Today is my grandma's funeral. I woke up this morning and I'd actually had a dream about the funeral. Um, it was kind of funny because I had sat down in the pews and there was like a bounce house for kids and there were like beach balls and I was I asked my dad like what is all of this and he says oh when the preacher starts preaching we're gonna we're gonna um, bounce these balls like in the air and because um, it's a celebration of life and I was like wow and I just kind of like thought like I could feel myself thinking in my dream like wow my grandma would have been laughing <laughs> at just how silly everything is she just loved to be around like all the silliness of all the kids and like so yeah I have a hair appointment to get my hair cut at 11 that's why my hair looks like this it looks crazy I washed it this morning and then I just blow dried it just to like get it off my scalp um and then the visitation is at noon the funeral's at one Liam is probably going to stay at his grandma's another night because that's what he does. He stays Thursday and Friday. It's kind of just his thing. If he doesn't stay on that routine, he gets very upset. So we're going to keep him on his routine. And then Bristol is actually going to go to her Nina's um, tonight. She stays with her maybe like twice a month. Just, you know, she, her Nana basically helped me raise her. Um, she stayed with her Nana from the time she was six weeks old until she started school so her and her Nana are very close and I do not want to mess up that relationship and while it's not really feasible for her to stay every weekend um, because her Nana is older um, I try to let her stay like as much as her Nana will let her so she's gonna go stay with her Nana tonight um, and then it'll just be me Terry and the baby tonight I don't know what the rest of the day is gonna hold but I figured I would go ahead and start this vlog and just kind of let you know what we got going on today. Okay, so I just got my hair cut. I got three inches cut off. It feels so much better. And I also scheduled hair and nail appointments until May. And I feel so good about it because that's like the one thing that I do for myself. And I'm just trying to focus more on myself. So I talked to her about my hair and when I get my hair colored, we're gonna do a balayage. So it's gonna blend a lot more and I get to go longer. Um, so I'll get my hair done in at the end of January, I believe. And then I'll get it done again, like the end of May. So basically like six months in between or five, it doesn't really matter. Um, so basically I'll be able to get my hair done like twice a year versus every six weeks or whatever So it's gonna work out really really well and I'm excited uh, So right now I'm actually going across the street to meet my husband. I cannot stop touching my hair. It feels so much better um, But I'm gonna go across the street me and my husband and we are going to ride out together to the funeral home and get this day Over with because I'm ready for it to be done. I have a pit in my stomach and I'm just I just want it to be done. Okay, so it is later. It's probably about 6.37 now. We got done with everything about 5. So the funeral was, it went well. Um, today was a good day. Ended up being a good day. I don't know why I was so like <clears throat> anxious about it. I think just like being around people that I'm not normally around just like makes me anxious. But it was a good day. My cup got filled today despite the reasoning why we all came together. Um, so yeah, it was a good day. Um, the visit, I have got my hair cut at 11. The visitation started at noon and then the funeral started at one. We got done with everything about five. Um, the church had a dinner for us. So we sit and ate together. I didn't eat very much cause I was just out of my comfort zone. Um, so I'm home now. I just had a sandwich. I'm having some ramen. Um, I had to feed Riley. Liam stayed with his grandma. Bristol is still, Bristol went with her Nana. So, um, I still have some presents to wrap. I did go to Dollar General and pick up some more wrapping paper. What are you doing, you silly girl? Um, I picked up some more wrapping paper. So when Riley goes to bed, I'm going to, you are being so silly. 
when Riley goes to bed, I'm going to sit and wrap presents. But right now, I'm going to finish eating my noodles and watch um, Jessica Braun's uh, vlogmas video. I still have not edited my video from yesterday. I think um, I'm just, I don't know if I'm going to get to it tonight. If not, I'll get to it tomorrow morning. I'm just kind of giving myself some grace, like I've been saying, and just kind of doing what I can. So, anyway. Good morning, guys. So, it is Saturday. It's like 8.30 right now. Um, I have groceries being delivered between 9 and 10, so I'm going to go ahead and head to town and go get some coffee. I just have Riley with me today um, because the other two were at their grandma's. Um, so, yeah. Um, I think I talked a little bit yesterday about the funeral. <clears throat> it went well. Um, I am not doing a great job vlogging, and I it's just because I have just like a lot going on at the moment. <laughs> Um, so I'm doing my best and here's my apology to you that I made a promise that I couldn't keep and uh, you know, it just is what it is. So right now I'm going to head to town, go get coffee. I've got groceries being delivered. I'll share that with you. And then I'm going to be just like cleaning up around the house. I got to get presents wrapped before the other two get home. Um, so I'm going to do that. And, uh, what else? I'm focusing on laundry today. I want to get the carpets vacuumed. And I would like to start on the cabinets during nap time, but we'll see if we get there. I don't know. Um, we also have a little family dinner to go to tonight at 530. So I'm going to be making a um, dip for that. So I'll share that with you. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to make a cake for cake pops because I still have icing in my fridge I want to use up. So I'm going to go ahead and make the cake and do the cake pops and freeze them so that whenever I do baking next week, they'll be ready to go. Um, I'm trying to think I need to get gas, but I probably won't do that until tomorrow. It's rainy today and I just don't like getting gas when it's rainy. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it, but I'm going to go ahead and go get coffee. When I get back home, I will share with you my grocery haul. When I went to town, I also decided to go ahead and go to Walmart because I knew that I needed another thing of cream cheese, but me and Riley just kind of walked around and, you know, did our thing. So I figured I would show you what I got. So I got a block of cream cheese for the dip that I'm making tonight. I also wanted to go ahead and get these Christmas M&Ms because when it gets closer to Christmas time, these are really hard to come by. So I went ahead and picked up a thing, but before I saw the bag, I saw this and I let Riley hold it and she chewed on it. So I was like, well, now I have to buy that too. So I got that. And then I saw this icing spatula on an end cap and it was only $2. And I was like, I've been wanting one of these for a long time. So I just went ahead and got it. And then these truffles are so good. So I went ahead and picked up one of those. This is the white peppermint. The the chocolate peppermint is good too. And then Liam's class is having a Christmas party and um, her his teacher decided or requested that we send in snacks. So I just got this. I thought it would be good for them. Also needed some more dry shampoo. I'm going back to Batiste because the two that I've been using are making my hair really, or making my scalp itch really badly. So it's time to rotate to something else. And this is one of my favorites. So I got that. And then um, Liam and Bristol both have Spirit Week this week for Christmas. So I never really let them participate or we don't ever have stuff for them to participate. So this year I decided to go ahead and get them a couple shirts. So this one is Liam's. Um, these were both $6. So he'll wear this. He also has a Christmas program on Monday. So um, I wanted something that he could wear to that. And then I got this one for Bristol. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come to realize that I can't see it in your eyes. So it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to hide. Stronger each day 
we're together on the way Christmas time's got the best of me Then it starts to snow in our hearts We both know that we're falling in love To me it's perfectly clear We're falling in love It's true this part of the year Something Alright, so I just spent the last like hour wrapping all the kids' presents. I'm glad that it's done. I will still need to wrap their Santa gifts, but I'll do that later. It's not something that needs to be done right now. I just really wanted to get their presents under the tree so they can enjoy it. Okay, it is 2.30, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this dip just to go ahead and cook it and then put it in the crock pot and let it just stay hot. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put it in the crock pot or if I'm gonna put it in a, a foil pan. But either way, I've got a pound of Italian sausage here. The Jimmy Dean is my favorite. I think that it tastes the best. So I'm just gonna brown this up really quickly. I've also softened a block of cream cheese in the microwave. So that's waiting for me when I'm ready for it. And I have this dip from last weekend. You can see that there's really not that much missing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add this in um, all it is is cream cheese and salsa, which is what I'm putting in the dip anyways. So I'm just going to use what I have left. It's still fine. Um, so I'm just going to brown up the sausage and then we'll put everything together. Okay, the sausage is done. I'm just kind of just letting it brown a second and it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and transfer this. I'm just going to incorporate this really quick. It won't take very long because the skillet is already pretty hot. Grab my cream cheese out of the microwave. I just let this soften for about 30 seconds. I'm gonna throw that in. I don't have very much, probably like half a cup, so I'm just gonna throw it in. There we go. So now I'm just going to grab my skillet transfer this to my crock pot and it will be ready when we leave we don't have to be there until 5 30 so i still have a little bit of time but i just wanted to get it on so i didn't have to worry about it mm -hmm. 